So you are probably looking like this right now, looking at the clock, looking at the seconds, the minutes, maybe even the hours that are passing by as you just try to fall asleep after a long, hard work day. So you put out your phone, you look at this video, and you find how to fall asleep. According to the sleep drudge written by the review team in 2020, the average time to fall asleep is seven minutes. I have used this technique that I'm about to show you, and I have made my time to fall asleep from an hour to roughly 10 minutes. So I'm making my way down to the average falling asleep time. So the prerequisite is that you probably need a bed because that is the most comfortable place to fall asleep in. And it would be probably at night because that is where the average human falls asleep during that time. The end goal of this video is to try to let you fall asleep. You wouldn't know that you're falling asleep because you're not awake. So the technique that I'll be showing you guys today is the call, it's called the military technique. According to Healthline, the article in 2018 written by an unknown author states that Navy pilots use this technique to train themselves to sleep in two minutes or less. Now, given that they have six months to train this entire process to fall asleep, so they can sleep through gunshots, even like really, really loud noises, they can fall asleep through all of that. The main idea is to breathe, breathe in and out, having a constant flow of breathing in and breathing out air. So the first step is to relax your muscles. How would you do that? Well, you start by your facial muscles. You tense them up really, really hard, and then you relax them. This just relaxes your facial hair, your facial. Now you start from your head, and you work all the way down to your feet, going through your arms, your legs, all the way down to your feet. Now this entire process should take about one to two minutes. At the end of the process, if you're still not falling asleep, you clear your mind by thinking about a relaxing scenario. You can think about being at the beach, at the ocean, or being in space. Those are calming sensations. If that doesn't work and you're still awake, tell yourself, don't think for 10 seconds. Don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think. And eventually, you're processing, you won't think anymore, and you will fall asleep. And by the end, you should see this. So some things to avoid while trying to fall asleep, or before you fall asleep, is don't use your phone, even though you're doing it right now. Because... Phones actually keep you up awake because of the blue light that causes from the phone. Don't eat a huge meal right before bedtime. Don't consume caffeinated drinks because those will actually keep you up. So according to Press Scholar in an article written by Jane Diggy, states caffeine will generally not affect a person after five to six hours, depending on how much caffeine one takes in. So roughly, if you are bedtime is at like 10 o'clock, you should probably stop drinking around 3 p.m. to give yourself enough time for the caffeine to get out of your system. And there are more other things to avoid. So, you're at the end of this video. If you're still not falling asleep, well, you shouldn't stay in bed for hours and hours upon at a time just trying to fall asleep. Instead, you should use this time to get yourself to do some other, maybe homework or maybe read a book or something. Don't use your phone because that will keep you up. Reading a book will help you relax yourself and then eventually you will fall back to asleep. Thank you for watching.